Okay, everybody, so we're doing 3 times x minus 1 minus, in parentheses, 4x minus 5 equals 2 times 5x minus 1 and then subtract 7. So what I want everyone to do is first simplify and then solve. Simplify means, like, you know, use the distributive property and add like terms as much as you can until it, both sides are, well, simplified. And then solve means kind of like add and subtract to both sides to get x equals something in get. Because our answer should look like this, x equals some number, right? So we're going to do the distributive property, and I see a 3 here. So I'm going to multiply 3 in, and that gives me 3x minus 3. Now this is where most of the mistakes are going to be, I think, is this part here. Remember that a negative outside the parentheses is like a negative 1. I want you guys to multiply in by negative 1 to get negative 4x, and then negative 1 times negative 5, everybody. Negative 1 times negative 5, that's negative times negative, plus 5, and that's a common error right there. See, the negative times negative gives plus. Equals, and then we have here a 2 times this guy. Multiply 2 in to get 10x minus 2 and then minus 7 here. So that's applying the distributive properties. And now we're going to add like terms on both sides. So like on the left, I've got a 3x and a negative 4x. That's like three good guys, four bad guys. Put those guys together. 3x and a minus 4x gives me minus 1x. Then I have a negative 3 and a plus 5. Three bad guys, five good guys. And these are numbers, so they're like terms, so we put them together, plus 2, right, equals, and add like terms on this side. We just have an x term and a negative 2 and a negative 7. So we put down the 10x, and we put these guys together. And it's negative 2 minus 7. I'm in debt by $2. I subtract 7. Now I'm in debt by 9. Or change subtract to plus negative, blam, blam. Now it says negative 2 plus negative 7. Two negatives and seven negatives, nine negatives. And at this point, we're actually done with the simplifying because we cannot add or subtract like terms anymore. Like this is negative 1x, but these are not like terms. You can't go any further. 10x minus 9, not like terms. You're done there as well. So at this point, we've got to start adding and subtracting things to both sides to get the answer. And there's actually lots of ways of doing it from here, and there's no wrong way as long as you do the same thing to both sides. So really quickly, I could add 1x to both sides. That would be fine. I could uh, subtract 2 from both sides. That would be fine. I could subtract 10x from both sides. That would be fine. I could add 9 to both sides, and that would be fine. So I've got to pick one of those and just go with it. I'm going to add... 1x to both sides. So negative 1x plus 1x is 0, and I get 2 equals 11x minus 9. And now I get x on its own. I'm going to actually add 9 to get 11 equals 11x. And x is multiplied by 11, so divide by 11 on both sides to get 1 equals x, or x is 1. Okay with that? Yep. All right.